Thank you. Joining us right now to weigh in on all of this is technology analyst, Big Eyed Wish, founder and host of Ad Weeks. I'm with the brand. Ian Wishingrad is here. Ian, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. React and tell us what, how you would assess the Twitter quarter and what's most important as you focus so much on advertising. Yeah. Well, all the platforms make all their money from advertising dollars, and most people don't invest in Twitter because Twitter is kind of considered news. So it keeps you up to date, but it's not a platform that people engage with in the same way Instagram or Facebook, which are great for advertisers. They see a direct return on investment. If do, you, you do you think Twitter is a content creator? Because this is why Devin Nunes is suing Twitter, because they have all of these bot farms, robot, you know, robots, and, and how many bot farms do they have? Are they selling advertising on these Twitter accounts that are robots and there's not even people. Uh, I think all That's the all, all the platforms have that problem, but Twitter, and if you think about the way you use Twitter, you go to Twitter for breaking news. You go to Twitter to see what the president's saying. And when all of a sudden you see things that are trending that seem odd, that would usually indicate some sort of Twitter, uh, Twitter bot farm. But I think the bigger issue is Twitter's becoming much more visual. They're starting to have to look like Facebook and Instagram and become a visual platform because just watching what people read is not a really good way to monetize your business. If you think in the traditional sense, the news divisions of big companies were never really where the problem was it was the it was the entertainment shows and basically entertainment is Instagram entertainment is Facebook Twitter is news it's a harder product to to monetize uh, just, to, just really quickly to put this sell-off and perspective on this stock this stock has wildly outperformed year to date before this announcement it's up this is the total return 35 percent year to date that's outperforming internet content and information companies and also outperforming the broader stock market so this look it's is a steep sell-off I'm not arguing that but it's up a lot this year and no, I think people are looking at it also. They fix their product. The product is a much better product now. It starts to give you the trends that you know you're looking for. They're making it visual. They had to fix the product first, and I think, unfortunately, the revenue will follow that. So if you're looking at it just from a numbers perspective, it's, it's not the, it doesn't look great, but they've really done the right changes, I think, to make it work. And the president also makes it incredibly ubiquitous because he's always out there using it. Yeah. You almost want to go on and see the front page of the newspaper. Well, I think that's why some people might wonder, how do you miss expectations when Donald Trump and Daryl Morey are doing so much to promote your brand <laughs> and uh, I, it sounds like you're saying it's it's not a management issue it's just they're in a, a news uh, sector that's not the, the best way to sell advertising correct where's the advertising dollars going right now growth so for a lot of people so basically Facebook and Instagram are becoming more expensive because so many people are pumping their dollars into it but it's still a, the best return on investment when you're trying to reach and target certain people but you're starting to see a resurgence in out of home actually ah. because at least you know people see it and it really sinks in Ian great to have you thanks so much thank you we'll be right back